Hi guys and welcome to Crazy Burger. So Tape Worm Disco Puzzle, is this the best game on Evercade? It's certainly one of the best games on Evercade, possibly in my top 10. But what do you think? Is it the best game? If it's not this, what is the best game? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so Tape Worm Disco Puzzle, as you may or may not know, was part of the Game of the Month for Indie Heroes Collection 2 that started in 2022. This was the first game and it was an absolute cracker, possibly one of the best Game of the Month games that we got. And it's no doubt probably the best game that's on Indie Heroes Collection 2. Um, it's an absolute cracking game and it's probably the only game that I actually finished um, as part of Game of the Month. I didn't really want to play all of the games because I wanted to then enjoy them when they came out on the actual cart um, so that I had something to play because I, I think once you actually play through them um, as Game of the Month you don't really feel that incentive to want to play the games again which is obviously a little bit sad um, and yeah you don't really feel like you get you know your money's worth when you get the cart so I did hold back on a few of the other games but this is probably the only game that I did complete as part of game of the month and only because it's so addictive I really had to keep playing um, and playing off so there is 99 levels to go through some are really quite simple like obviously the start levels and a few other levels in between are quite um, simple to actually complete um, but once you get further on it definitely gets quite challenging levels 20 levels 40 60 80 they're a little bit different where they're more like a reaction style level where you need to sort of react before you hit the spikes and collect the musical notes to complete the level and um, so to speak. we'll have a look at that in a little minute but yeah it's definitely one of the most addictive fun Maybe slightly frustrating, and it certainly makes you think the further you get into the game. It's certainly one of the best games that I've played um, on Evercade. I'm not saying it's the best game, but it's certainly one of the best games. I think at this point um, in the Evercade's life, um, it's now getting harder and harder to actually say what game is the best game. Because there's maybe over 300 titles to choose from, and there's no doubt there's a few that um, obviously stand out more than others, such as games like Tanzer. For example, which many think is probably the best game. It's certainly up there in my top 10 games. Whether it's the best or not anymore, I don't know. Um, also, you've got your uh, stuff like Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood, which were also absolutely excellent games. Um, two outstanding games that were on the same cart. Um, there are other stuff as well, like the recent dual cart with um, Always Awakening and Cathedral. Both great games. Personally, I prefer Always Awakening. And maybe some might see that as probably the best game, or maybe some see it as Cathedral. But at the end of the day, it's probably, it's really down to the individual what you think is the best game. Tape Worm for me is definitely up there as probably one of the top, maybe in my top 10 games. Maybe slightly higher than that. I'm not really sure where I rank things anymore. I've kind of got confused. There's so many games I've just lost track of it a little bit. You could even drop a few other games in there, like the recent games that were on C64 collection like Mission Impossible and Wii, they were really good fun games but the best games in Evercade? Probably not um, but yeah they're definitely great games. I also love stuff like World Rally which are fantastic but again not sure if you would classify that as being the best game on Evercade but Tate Worm, yeah it's certainly slightly different so I love stuff like um, Romeo and Julie Cat, I thought that was fantastic fun um, and I love Romeo's Tale as well, I love a puzzle game um, but yeah, I think it's definitely got harder and harder to say which game is the best. But basically, I'm going to put it out to you guys. What do you think is the best game on Evercade? Is it Tape Worm? Is it something else? Let me know, guys. I'd really want to um, hear your opinion, what you think is the best game. It's really getting harder to say exactly what the best game is anymore for me. Um, but I certainly would be able to do a top 10 I guess rather than ranking them specifically in any um, random order. Yeah, but yeah let's have a look at some of the later levels at Tate Worm. 
for me, this game definitely starts to sort of take shape when it hits to level 60 and afterwards. It just takes on a whole new level, so to speak. Okay, so talking of the reactor levels, the levels you sort of really react to, press left or right to get through the levels. This is one of them, and this one is really, really tough. Now, there's a specific way you need to complete it. You obviously can't hit the spikes, you can't hit the side, or it's game over. But you need to go through the level collecting all the musical notes that you see on the screen. Now, it's all about hitting the left and right at the right time, otherwise you'll keep going back to the start and keep going out. Honestly, I did not like these levels at all. It just kind of uh, frustrated me and annoyed me more than anything else. Um, but once you get the hang of once you know where you're supposed to go, um, obviously you can see here, that completes the level like that. But it does take a little while to get used to, figure out the path, till you complete it, and it does frustrate me, there's no doubt about it. I'll turn this up slightly. Now after this though, once you get to level 61, things definitely start to get a little more interesting and yeah this is something I also like about from level 61 that banging soundtrack now if you bought the NES version you can actually get the soundtrack that comes complete with it which is absolutely brilliant you can buy this separately but as you can see um, from level 61 you've now got access to two worms on each side of the tape um, and yeah, so you need to remember that it's opposite on this side, so the controls are completely opposite. But they move at exactly the same time um, as each other, and it, yeah, gets a bit weird. And this is something I want to actually pick up while I'm playing this. That's as high as the sound goes on my EXP. I think there's definitely something wrong with the sound on, I think specifically NES games on the EXP that I've got here. It just doesn't go very high at all. That it can go much higher than that. That's nowhere near as loud as the sound can go on the EXP. Anyway, sort of moving on, we'll sort of try and get through this level. So you understand the two worms move at exactly the same time. Um, and yeah, obviously the moves are opposite on the right hand side, so you need to try and get that round your head somehow. Now this level itself is easy enough because there's no complications. It's just getting you used to having two worms on the screen at the same time. But when you get to later levels, it does get a little bit more complicated and you can't move a specific way without um, the other worm on the opposite side of the screen bumping into spikes or something. But yeah, these few levels are just pretty simple. and certainly just get you used to it, but it definitely gets very tricky. From this point especially, <laughs> you can see you've now got um, some other, um, sort of looks like tiny fleas or whatever they are that you need to avoid and not hit. And then you need to get those jumping fleas that are there um, up into the pipes at the top uh, and so they can get those blood vials, I think they're called. Something like that. Oh, I need to push them all the way up though. Ah. But yeah, I absolutely think this game is fantastic, especially from level 60 onwards. It takes on a whole different sort of game style almost. Um, that soundtrack is amazing. Fantastic game. Really enjoyable. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Do you like Tapeworm? What game do you think is the best on Evercade and how, how far up in your top 10 would you rate Tapeworm? Absolutely brilliant game. Guys, thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. So do that one last, and we'll do it now. Just like that. What a game, guys. Bye for now.